Hey, everybody. It is Mama D. And I bought my plate sage and pine and a few other good things. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to light this. Kind of clear some energy. I decided I'm going to do a reading today. The end of my day was just kind of scattered and ugh. So I'm clearing my energy with you guys from this day. I picked up anything, any impasse, you know. I leave my shoes out the door. Got my selenite, clear my energy. Black tourmaline to protect my energy. <laughs> Rose quartz to fill it back with love. So, well, let me see. Make sure the volume's up when I'm recording. Yeah. Fire. All the elements, earth, fire, air, fire, clear my energy. Various cards of energy. Let's do a reading. Bless this for my collective. It's Mama D. Welcome to my channel. I just feel like I'm going to do a reading for the collective, like I said. So, yeah. I might set it as a premiere so I can chat with everybody. I debated on whether or not to go live. So, yeah, here we are. All right. Guidance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, everybody. Enchanted Matt Warble cards. <clears throat> What is the message for the collective today? What is the message most needed by the collective today? What are we focus on? What do we need to know? Bring my bell right here. Bring in the angels. Gonna call them in. What is the message most needed for the collective today? Reminds me of someone's looking for their own little piece of heaven, like for themselves. Funny enough, in this card, there's a guy with a telescope looking this way. Well, do you see this? Like, female standing in the water. Water represents life. Interesting. Don't 
dogs, Xena, don't start. I swear. I don't know, or whatever. We have listening. There's a bird with musical notes singing, listening to nature. Ooh, ouches. Gentle gardener. Number two. I'm gonna see the first thing when I looked at this I was like, hmm, book. So hmm. You're always safe and secure and free to be yourself. Asking for help isn't easy for many successful people. However, that's what you need to do now as you expand your life. If you find yourself troubled, you can expect help with whatever issues is at hand now. You need only ask and assistance will come your way. The most important support you can expect is from spirit. Get into a relationship with the divine and you'll see that many conditions line up as if by magic to provide you with all the help you need. Ask and you will receive. There is no need to fear. Safety is a place within. Wow. You don't need anyone to rescue you. You are whole. You are all of this. You are life and more. <laughs> Listening. An open heart will hear the message. When this card appears, you're being reminded that there is a time to speak and a time to be silent. Now is an occasion for listening. Pay attention not only to what is being spoken, but also to what is not being said at the moment. For the deeper message is not always obvious. Listen with your heart, not just your ears, and you'll find clarity. Receiving the listening card is a fortunate sign and ensures a greater understanding of your circumstances. Spirit, what do we need to know about rescue? Start with the deviant moon. This card, when I split the deck, was the only one that's different. The death card. Death to an old cycle. <clears throat> I hear death to an old cycle, y'all. Tell me more about rescue, spirit. What is rescue? Cards are being funny, y'all. burning but they're kind of still in the shadows these wands have protected them from the outside we have the eight of pentacles hey that's enough they're playing with the page of wands 
and the High Priestess. This Nine of Pentacles card, <clears throat> there's a wheel on the back. So it's like wanting to move forward, but a foot firmly planted and stopping oneself. There's a chain that's wrapped around to something which is also heavy. If you notice that. This person has a mask on in this picture. <clears throat> These do not. Just pointing out some facts and energies I'm feeling from this card. So it is, you know, a single and abundant, not letting the outside world kind of see everything because they're still wearing a mask. They're still bound to some things, wanting to take a step forward. You know, the wheel's here, but it's to get that momentum I heard. Using their intuition, knowing that there's a spark, there's a message. This page of wands is nervous. Look, it's like tiptoeing on ice. Unsure footing. And this high priestess, if you notice, her arms are crossed like this. It's not like her energy is open. And that's what I'm talking about. Okay, someone's single and abundant on their own, but it's like they're still holding on and chained and bound. Like, what are you skating on ice about that would free you? Don't forget, like, you're a high priestess. You're a high priestess. Guarded. Guarded. Is there anything else, Spirit? Crossing over the eyes before sword because they're still healing. But look in this card. There's growth. There's roses. Sister of the rose, possibly. I just heard like someone giving roses. But there's still one more sword. These three are down. This sword is up. So, healing, but still having this sword and guard up. But with the six of wands, wanting victory, wanting success, wanting recognition, look. Wanting success, wanting victory. Tell me more about listening, spirit. Wanting to offer their cup of love. Look, she's holding it out as if like, you know, I don't want to spill a drop. Listening. She's very careful. This queen is very careful, like with her cup of love. Listening, spirit. Why is listening here? So 
a passionate message coming in quick. This message is from someone I hear who's going through a transformation. See, they're riding on the this, like when a locust sheds its skin, its oh, skin, I guess. It leaves behind part of that old. It's the same, but it's new, and the old is being left behind. strength to overcome and conquer taking something like in their bare hands and even though look, fighting this will look still has something wrapped around their ankle like another car like. but there is a, a solid new beginning an offer coming in it's an ace of pentacles it's solid The Ace of Pentacles turned over. It's at the top now. Six of Pentacles. Only giving, you know, so much but holding back their five. Have strength. So it's like someone has a lot to offer, but they're just offering one right now. It's like this person can see it so bad. They almost have that new beginning in their hand. They're having strength holding out. Anything else on this thing, Spirit? Listening, Spirit. Queen of Wands, standing in your power, looking good, being passionate about things. You know, the Queen of Wands is someone that's just very passionate. She's, you know, just beautiful. She's sexy. Tell me more on this Queen of Wands because oh, I want to know more about this Queen of Wands. The Empress is under here. So, tell me more, Spirit. My Ace of Pentacles. It's like it's wanting to come out, wanting to come out, wanting a new start, wanting a new beginning. Wow. Okay. So, the two that first landed, I'm going to take because this is the, the whole, like, and that's exactly what it's like. It's like somebody is holding back. They have so much more to offer, and it, it, they are like, it just all comes out. <laughs> There's the Empress. <laughs> Will of Fortune. Things turning in your favor. See, that crank in that wheel. Someone's just sitting there like, yeah, that wheel of fortune's working. I know it's being turned in my favor. Someone had to learn how to be, like, stand in their power. But in death and rebirth and reborn as the Empress. The Empress is all 
of the queens in one. Like, this was the last thing, knowing your value, knowing your worth, seeing yourself as passionate, you know, beautiful, confident. Now that you have mastered this, you've become the empress. Elsie, my dog. Gentle gardener. Energy reminds me of just taking care of, like, oneself. somebody's emotions, illuminating cord strings that are attached. See there? We're going to hold on a minute and we're going to cleanse that of cords and attachments, okay? Moon purify. Let's do some spiritual surgery for my collective. Detach those corpses that's holding them back. Thank you. Do some spiritual surgery while we're on it. Tell me about the moon spirit. It's about healing a broken heart. So I was stabbed in the back by these three swords. But she's still standing. This individual, this energy did not fall down, but they're like this. You know what I mean? Look at the muscle, being strong, having temperance, healing, pouring into their own cup. Look at the wings. Full. New journey. New beginning. Rebirth as the Empress. Because what's hidden is their healing, their broken heart. Releasing all those attachments. That was not spirit, that was me, so. the four of cups and the king of wands and they came out in reverse so someone's tired of putting up with the player energy they're no longer reminiscing about the times they're just saying okay memories is memories is i can make some new ones i'm not wanting to deal with the king of wands but also if you notice the queen of wands okay is up here so this energy it's matching energies not meaning that this queen of wands was like a player or whatever but their suits matched but this Queen of Wands has now become the Empress. So that means this King of Wands is going to have to grow up and become the Emperor in order to fuck with her now. I'm going to put it bluntly. Why? Because she ain't a Queen no more. She's the Empress. So. This player energy, it don't jive for her. Why? Because she's beautiful. She's grown. She's not like the rest. She's an empress. Take it how it resonates. I'm just saying she because I have a divine feminine. I have more feminine than I have masculine. But this can be. Flip it. Flip it. Flop it. If this is your story. Or if it's not your story. What, what have you. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Ten of Swords. So 
not look this ten of swords i love it it came out in reverse you know what it's the end of ten of swords if you look at this ten of swords upright this individual has swords that are being stabbed into their bodies but he's inside of a box they put themselves in that position but now it's upside down There's a message, the Page of Pentacles, wanting to come in with an offer. Tell me more, Spirit. That somebody's feeling tired. It's like the wounded warrior. Reminds me of being like in seclusion. <laughs> Wanting to come in with an offer, but it's still hermit mode kind of for them. As the alarm's going off. Okay, so somebody, this is all pentacles. <laughs> like, this is very, a lot of earth energy. There's a little air in here. It's fire. Cuts water, so. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. So somebody's thinking hard about what seed they want to plant and collaborate. Working on an offer to come in. Choosing to come together. I'm wanting to put in some work. We have the world and the Knight of Pentacles and Hangman. It's like it's the end of the pause. It's the end of that cycle. Laying down the burden, making a judgment call to come in with a brand new, solid, stable offer. This could be work related. There's a lot of pentacles out here. A higher high level of commitment. King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Cutting through all the bullshit about loyalty. Making a choice to heal a situation. Someone's definitely not going to put up with any shit when it comes to loyalty. Like, I will cut you out if you're unloyal. The choice is to heal. Lovers talks about a choice and the hermit going into seclusion, so choosing to heal a situation. Interesting read, you guys. The two of ones at the crossroads. Making a choice, making a decision. Star on the bottom of the deck. Having hope and faith for a new beginning. There's the Ace of Cups. Interesting reading, everybody. Right? Good reading. I'm going to close it off with a Magical Times Empowerment card, okay? 
I'm gonna set as a premiere. So. Wow, this is about action. Stop hesitating. Movement creates the magic. Nothing can hold you back. There's nothing holding me back. <laughs> You take me places that take down my. Is that John Mendez? Distant. Have integrity. Drop the things that offend your soul. Embrace your truth. It's your life. And let no one live it for you. Healing on the bottom. Bless all in need of healing. Hope and love. Spirit, grant us strength and wisdom. Guide us to the path of wellness. I agree. Collective, I love y'all. Thank you so much. Mama D.